Hey guys, Jamie the Divine Seer here. How are you guys? Hopefully everybody's doing okay and doing great. Um, I have been literally gone for a while. And my, uh, my dad did pass away. So he passed away last week. But my dad would want me to keep going with what I'm doing. So that's what I'm doing. Um, he's been in my dreams three times this past week. So yeah, this is what he wants me to do. And I'm going to keep on pushing forward because you know what? He always believed in me and I... I'm going to keep on doing what I do. Anyways, you just got to keep moving forward. No matter what happens in life, you know, you just keep pushing, keep pushing forward. Everything's going to work out. It always does, right? So for those of you that um, are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for being here. And thank you for being so, so patient with me. A lot's been going on. Um, before my dad, I lost my uncle. So like there's been a lot of stuff going on with my family. So there's, it's a lot. It's a lot, but um, bringing up childhood memories and stuff like that and bringing up like a lot of stuff that needed healing and stuff that was that was actually needed. Um, anyways, so with that being said, anyone that is coming here that has gotten this reading on their feed, this was meant for you. There's a message in it for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If it does not sound like your story, it's not. So please don't try to make it fit. Okay. Don't force anything. You want to go with the flow. That's how life re works really better. Actually. Um, yesterday I was going to do a video, but spirit had said, no, you need to rest up. You need to rest up. So I was like, okay. So all day yesterday I was getting signs and synchronicities and downloads and everything. And it was just like, great. It was like a lot of stuff coming to me. Uh, my intuition has been really on point lately. So thank God. But, um, Anyway, so again, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for subscribing and liking the video on your way in, okay? So while I was getting ready today, I was hearing the song All My Life by Casey and Jojo. It was going over and over and over like crazy. And I was just like, what the heck? <laughs> I was like, okay. Um, so I'm going to read you guys the lyrics. This is obviously a love reading. I asked Spirit what they wanted me to talk about today. And they, now my lights are flickering. And they literally were like, no, you need to like this song. It's this song. I'm like, okay. So just talk about the song. So All My Life by Casey and Jojo, which this is like high school. <laughs> this is like high school song. I love this song, but it just kept playing over. Baby, 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 baby. I'm so glad. I will never find another lover sweeter than you, sweeter than you. And I will never find another lover more precious than you, more precious than you. Girl, you are close to me. You're like my mother. Close to me. You're like my father. Close to me. You're like my sister. Close to me. You're like my brother. And you are the only one, my everything. And for you, this song I sing. I just keep getting all these notifications because they have not been on my computer in weeks. All my life, I prayed for someone like you, and I thank God that I that I finally found you. All my life, I prayed for someone like you, and I hope that you feel the same way too. Yes, I pray that you do love me too. Ooh, I just got chills. I'm so thankful that I'm thinking of you, baby. Said I promise to never fall in love with a stranger. You're all I'm thinking of. Oh my God, I just keep getting chills. You're all I'm thinking of. I praise the Lord above for sending me your love. I cherish every hug. I really love you. All my life, I prayed for someone like you and I thank God that I, that I finally found you. All my life, I prayed for someone like you and I hope that you feel the same way too. Yes, I pray that you do love me too. You're all that I've ever know, ever know. When you smile, all my face always seems to glow. You turn my life around. You picked me up when I was down. You're all that I've ever known. Oh my God, I can't stop getting chills. It's like it's constantly through my body. When you smile, my face glows. You picked me up when I was down. Say you're all that I've ever known. When you smile, my face glows. You picked me up when I was down. And I hope that you feel the same way too. Yes, I pray that you do love me too. And then it just keeps going. Oh my God. I, I don't know if you guys can see it. Like I'm like got chills everywhere in my body. Anyway, with that being said, it keeps going about all my life. I prayed for you. So whoever this message is about, whoever this message is for, whoever you're thinking about right now, who is on your mind, 
this message is for you. This is a song that um, you might be hearing this song on the radio and stuff like that too. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is I did pick a deck from the Oracle, like the Oracle deck. I was called to this deck, but I was so like, I was so confused. I was like, why is this one here? Like this one is like not supposed to be here. This is a card that was behind all these different blue decks. And I'm like, this is not, this is not supposed to be here. So when I looked at it, it's number 36 and you could be 36 watching. Then <laughs> it says luck by the magic of my four leaf clover. Look at that. So we're going to talk about that in a little bit, but I feel like, I feel like they think you are their lucky charm. There's something about you make this person really happy and you make this person really, if you're with a person right now where you're in separation with the person, it doesn't matter. Energy is energy. Doesn't mean like, you know, if they're physically not there or whatever like that, it doesn't really matter. But the bottom line is this person can't stop thinking of you. They feel like you're all they've ever wanted in a person, in a, in a, in a soulmate, in, in, you know, whatever situation, whatever you're going through. Um, they feel like you are magical. And that's what I'm getting with this card. I feel like they're saying to you, your guides and your ancestors are saying to you that you are pure magic. You are someone that inspires other people just by your smile, just by the way you look, just by your eyes. And it's not just physical, your energy. So they feel like you're their lucky charm. They feel they're lucky that they found someone like you. They prayed for you. This person literally prayed for you. And <laughs> whatever you're doing, whatever you're trying to manifest in your life, if you have been literally praying and asking God and asking your spirit team, excuse me, and your ancestors to bring in someone to you that is going to love you the right way and that is going to treat your heart with kindness and gentleness and cherish you, it's about to happen. If it's this person, great. If this is what you want, could be a past person, obviously. But if it's a new person, they're saying to be open to new love too. Because a lot of you are shutting down your heart and closing your heart off to love because of the fact of a lot of pain and a lot of suffering that you've gone through. And some of you might have to just heal some childhood wounds. And that's where this all stems from. Know your worth. Know yourself. Know who you are. Remember you're beautiful inside and out. Remember you're an amazing being. You would not be here. You have a purpose. You would not be here right now if you did not have a purpose. And I feel like this person is part of your purpose. I really do. That's the message I'm getting right now, clear audiently. Because I am clear audience and I'm a psychic medium, so I, I will channel. Um, so let's see what the tarot wants to say about this person. <laughs> who's been like literally praying for you. And, and if you did not meet this person yet, this person's energy and your energy is going to collide. It's going to match. There's something about a vibrational match here. That's why it's very important for you to stay in high vibe when you're manifesting stuff or to stay there. And, it, you know, and I've been working on that too, where it's like, I want stuff and I'm like, sometimes, you know, stuff knocks me off my game and I'm like, nope, gotta be, gotta get out of this funk and I'll just start writing. And then all of a sudden I'm okay. Or I'll start like doing something else, cleaning or whatever. And then I get out of that funk. Angels, ancestors, my spirit team, can you please give me messages, third concise messages for the collective? What do they need to know about this person that's coming in for them? This person that's prayed for them. This person that loves their smile. Whoever's on their mind, can you tell me? Tell me. Tell me so that I can give the messages to the collective. Please and protect us and keep us. Yeah, my dad is now... My dad is now watching over. I, I was told to bring my dad's picture over and put it on my thing over there. So that's my daddy. So, uh, yeah. Tell me more about this person. One second. One more. Thank you. Yeah, there's something about you being their lucky charm. Three of Cups. 
I don't feel like this is a third party. And if it is a third party, I feel like if they're in a third party, they're trying to get out of it. Whatever. You do you. Keep focusing on you. That's what's important. But I feel like this is celebration. This person could be part of your friend group. Okay. Or this is someone that has always had a crush on you or something like that from high school or college or something like that. And now they're like letting you know how they feel about you or you never thought of them that way. And all of a sudden you guys are going to collide and come back together and you're going to be like, hmm, that's interesting. But I feel like this, I feel like there's a celebration coming in. This is also a reconciliation and reunion card as well. Okay. There is something about the Holy Trinity being here. Whatever this is, is blessed. Whatever this is, is completely protected and completely sacred. Whatever this is. I feel like, I feel like there's something about you with, with whoever this is. There's something about you, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you look, the way you dress, the way you, you, you just, your energy. And I feel like you're attracting, you're in that divine feminine energy, no gender and tarot, but I feel like you're bringing this person in. You're calling this person in. And some of you, I'm going to be honest with you. Some of you are like literally done and fed up with the past. Some of you are. I've seen so many readings out there in the collective that people are just like, I'm done. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, that, that's fine. But if you're not done with this person, this is what they're wishing for. <laughs> Queen of Wands, stay in that confidence. Stay in that energy. Your confidence is bringing this to you. You're staying in that divine power. You have that intuition within you that's really sparking whatever's about to come in. This is magical. Whatever this is, is magical. Yeah, because you've been in your head about a lot of stuff. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. The lover's card being here with the nine of swords. You've been in your head about this. Whatever this is, you've been literally praying and asking for for. For someone to come in and just treat you the way you want to be treated and treat you completely to check off all your boxes. And I feel like you're, some of you are losing sleep. Some of you have so much anxiety when it comes to love. And I feel like you're worried that it's never going to happen. But I'm telling you right now, this is a reconciliation or this is a reunion. This could be a past life love. Doesn't have to be. It could be somebody, again, like I said, that you haven't seen in a long time. And all of a sudden, like, they're going to like, you and them are going to be like, oh, my God. And then maybe that'll get you in your head. But the thing is here, I feel like this person is going through the same exact thing. Whoever this is, is going through the same exact thing. The lovers used to be called a choice card. And I keep seeing a peacock there. And it's not peacock. It's a freaking flowers. But I always, uh, this is my favorite card in the deck besides the Empress card because I love the way they look at each other. I love the way they hold each other. They're naked. They're vulnerable. Okay. This is vulnerability. This is complete nakedness. Being able to share your innermost fears and your innermost desires with this person. And I feel like whoever this person is, they're losing sleep. Or they have a lot of anxiety or there's something going on. Maybe they're having like a lot of like migraines or a lot of headaches or some sort of like, um, it's like almost like their crown chakra is getting bombarded with all messages about you. Look at this. Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They just had me look. God, I can't tell you guys how good it feels to be back. <laughs> I love doing this stuff. Knight of Pentacles right here. This is a slow moving thing. And if this is you worried about love and worried about if you're ever going to find someone, there's a celebration. I'm telling you, there's something coming in really slow. This person, if this is a person you're thinking about, they're coming in really, really slow, but they want the long haul with you. They want commitment with you. If you're like, I'm done, I don't care about the past, blah, 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 then this isn't your reading. You know, this part is not your reading. Who knows? This could be somebody from that's new. You don't know. But whatever this is, this is somebody that takes a very long, long, long time. And I feel like this person has been really like trying to figure out and that's why they're in their head. And this could also be you. So flip it and reverse it however you guys see fit. Because I know I go back and forth and honestly, that's the way I read. So it is what it is. But I feel like 
this person has been in their head about when is the right time. I want to take the Sloan study wins the race, but I, I don't, I, I want, I, I want to get out of this anxious energy. See it? Like I was stuttering there. This person really has been praying for you. I feel like you've been like really focusing on you and focusing on whatever it is that's going on in your life. You know, maybe your goals, your desires, your wants, your money, all that. And I feel like this person has been like really thinking about you. Show me more about this person. Yeah, see, they're reflecting. They're reflecting. This person wants to put in the work and invest. I know this isn't the Eight of Pentacles, but this is the Seven of Pentacles. This person wants to invest with you. They they consider you to be very high value. Thank you, Spirit. They are reflecting on their life and reflecting on everything that they had. Everything that they had, but there's one right here that's missing, right? They don't see this one. And it's like everything they have, everything they want, they got it already. But they're missing one missing piece. And I feel like that's you. I feel like that's you. All my life. Yep. All my life. High Priestess. Yep. So the Queen of Swords and the High Priestess came out. So the Queen of Swords fell on the floor. And I'm taking that as a sign, like a signal. Because my, I, I will tell you, I had a dream this morning about everybody being against me. Like everyone being against me. And I was away from everybody. But I was like, you know what? That's okay. That's my fuel. No big deal. You want to be against me? Fine. But I feel like this is kind of like that energy. It's like you have boundaries up. You're somebody who only respects the truth and only wants the truth. And I feel like this person wants to come in and tell you the truth, but they're scared shitless that you're going to cut their head off. They're scared shitless that you're going to literally just like deny them or reject them. There's something about them seeing you very strong. The Queen of Swords is a very loving person, but she could be cold. And the reason why she could be cold is because she's gone through it. But she's very blunt. She's very outspoken. No bullshit. I want the truth. That's it. You want me to bear my soul to you? Fine. But you're going to give me the truth. I want to know the truth. I want some clarity. You want me to be with you? Fine. And I feel like this person feels this energy off of you. I feel like this person feels this energy off of you. Like they feel like if they come in, you're going to be a little cold. You're going to be a little bit kind of like, eh, and you just want the truth. Butterflies are here. You guys might be seeing butterflies and like angel figurines or something. There's something about, I also feel like too, this is an ancestor of yours. That's very protective over you. A female figure. It could be great grandmother, grandmother. Somebody down in your lineage that is protecting you from whatever is coming in that is like, that it, like it is manipulative. If anything is manipulative, if anybody's coming in to manipulate you and tell you like sweet nothings just so that they could run away again, I feel like your, your ancestors are like, you're blocked until you come correct. And I feel like that's what's happening. Again, with that all my life, I just, I just keep hearing it over and over and over because I feel like this person wants you so bad. They want you so badly and you're just like focusing on whatever it is that you're focusing on. The high priestess. I feel like you could be this high priestess. You could be somebody who has a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge, heightened intuition, like very, very psychic. Okay. I feel like this I, I feel like this is you and that there's a reason for it because I feel like with the queen of swords and the high priestess that came out together and then temperance is at the bottom, but I'm, I don't know if I'm going to talk about the temperance because there is patience involved here. They're telling me to grab my agate. I don't know why. Cause I keep staring at it. Um, there's something here about you. Like there's something intuitively that, you know, you have a lot of secrets, uh, a lot of um, secret knowledge within you, a lot of wisdom within you that you hold. And I feel like if this person comes in, they have to tell you the truth, even though they might keep some secrets. Maybe there was a secret that you're going to find out the truth on. The bottom line is, because the high priestess is also, you know, the universe spirit God telling you, we're not telling you everything, how this is going to go. But also, 
This person can be very secretive or going with their intuition. They know they have to tell you the truth. But I feel like this is mostly you. Queen of Swords and High Priestess, I feel like that's your energy. I feel like it's like, to me, I know I have it out like this. You guys can't see it, but I feel like it's so far away. And it's like, you're just like, I'm going to go with my intuition. I'm going to go with my gut. And if this doesn't feel right, Vanid, Vanid, right? Hmm. But I feel like with this high priestess energy, you're very psychic. B and J could be the initials of the person. Or they could have those initials in their name. There's something here about you holding such wisdom within you. It's like you, it's like there's something about you learning everything that you needed to learn through experiences. And now you're like, I got my boundaries up now. Maybe that's what this was. Maybe whatever happened to you in the past, in past relationships, whatever it was, friendships, family, whatever it is, you got to the point where you're like, okay, I learned all my experiences. I'm never putting my boundaries down again. Like I'm going to stand in my truth and stay in my power. And if you're not going to tell me the truth and you're not going to come correct and you're not going to give me what, I, what I'm deserving, then... Off with your head. <laughs> so not funny, but funny. <laughs> yeah, there, patience is, there's something about patience. Because you're an earth angel. You're someone, they see you as an earth angel. I feel like they know that they screwed over an earth angel. There's something about, there's something about somebody screwing up. And I'm saying that because the Queen of Swords and the High Priestess are here. And I'm feeling that energy of you're like, I'm not taking no shit. I don't care. There's something about you being divine. You're like, you're like this beautiful angel to this person. And there's a lot of patience that is needed within this connection with whatever this is. And if this is new, if this is someone that's new or like you're calling in, you might be in that Queen of Swords mode. But they're telling you to go with your intuition. Do not discount your intuition. Do not doubt whatever you're feeling. Because if you get one inkling, especially if you're super psychic, if you get one inkling that this person is playing games, you're done. You're done. Show me more about this person that's pretty. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I feel like, I feel like you went through so much pain, but it made you strong. They're telling me to put it over here next to it. Cause I feel like this is your energy. You're gaining the strength and the courage through all this pain, through all this betrayal, through all the bullshit that you've been through in life. And I feel like the ton of swords that is in your back that you had to pull out by yourself and you had to heal yourself on your own, you might have had some people that were helping you, but you still have people that would still come at you and still try to freaking betray you and still try to put a knife in you. But Spirit says you're wiser. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit says you're wiser. You're gaining your strength. This is you. This could be your person as well, gaining the courage because they, they, you know, they had a lot of betrayal in their life. Maybe they're gaining the strength in, within them, but I still feel like this is your energy. I still feel like that's your energy. Show me about this person, please. Spirit. What about this person for my collective? How does this person feel about my collective? Okay. Nope. That's too many. Okay. How does this person feel about my collective? Ace of Wands. They want a new beginning with you. They want to ignite spark. There's a new beginning coming in. I'm telling you, this could be a new person coming in. This could very well be a new person coming in. How do they feel? The Knight of Cups in the world. This person might be watching you. If you're networking, if you're on a platform, they might be watching you online. There's something here about this person wants to offer their cup of love to you. Okay. Knight of Cups is usually a wishy-washy energy. It's usually one foot in, one foot out. Not sure if they want to do something, whatever, but they're very romantic. They're chivalrous. They're very, um, 
they wear their heart on their sleeve. Thank you, spirit. But the thing is, I feel like with this person, I feel like they want to offer you this love because you complete them. Because they feel complete with you. Now, yes, the world is completing a cycle, a karmic cycle, whatever that is. But everything comes full circle. Everything. Everything always comes full circle. This person feels like they want to come in and they want to rescue you. They want to rescue you. They want to help you with whatever it is that you need help with. This person really like you, you check off all their boxes. You complete them. And they want to offer you this cup of love. And they want to have a new beginning. If this is what you prayed for, whether it's a past person or a new love coming in, it's coming in. There's a new beginning, whether it's a past person or not. Now, we all have free will. You decide. I'm just the messenger, so don't shoot the messenger. We're going to take this card. We're going to put it right here. What? Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. <gasps> Hi! A white butterfly just flew literally up and down over my window. Thank you, Dad. Loved ones. Um, Ace of Pentacles right here. They're coming in fast. Holy shit. This person, whoever this person is, feels like they've been locked out of heaven. They're, they're in out of the cold. They want to come in from out of the cold, and they're going to rush in. They want to rush in. They want to move forward. There's something here about spirits saying things are working behind the scenes that you don't know about. You're not supposed to know. The high priestess is there. You have intuition, yes, but you don't know everything. Just like I'm psychic, but I don't know everything. I could tell you certain things, and majority of the time they come true, but then, you know, you guys have free will. You guys can change anything. And that's the thing. This is the current energy. So anyways, and this could be, this could be your past, this could be present time, or this could be a future read, depending on when you get it. It doesn't really matter. This person wants to offer you everything. The Ace of Pentacles is a happy family. The Ace of Pentacles is settling down, financial security, financial stability. Whatever this is, whoever this is, they're coming in and they want to offer you, thank you, I was going to say, thank you, Dad, the flickering light. They want to offer you stability. They want to offer you, maybe this person could be working on their finances, and that's why they haven't come in yet, or you're working on your finances. Bottom line, because we have these, these are you. But over here, I feel like whatever's happening behind the scenes, whatever spirit is bringing to you, whether it's this person or another person, you're going to be moving forward. This is going to move really fast. You think it's going to move slow. You think it's been moving slow. This person has been slowly making their way to you. But, and they, they want to come in and they want to give you their cup of love. Oh, my head is itching. But what they want to do is they want to have a new beginning with you. You have two aces right here, back to back. So this person sees you as their happy family. There's a new path opening up for you. For you and possibly this person or for you and someone new. Whatever it is that you've been praying for, whatever it is that this person's been praying for, I feel like this person wants to come in and give you the world. Thank you, Spirit. They want to give you the world. That's why that night of, thank you, Spirit. That's why that night of cups came out with the world too. They want to give you the world. This person wants to take care of you. They want to help you. They want to protect you. They want to give you financial security. They want to be stable when they come in. You're sitting here, I'm hearing, I'm hearing somebody hemming and hawing about, oh, oh, like it's taking forever. And I know, because I do that too. But then I realize time is just an illusion. And I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to be in the present. And that's what I've been doing. Two, three, four, as I say that on my clock over there. But you hem and haw about the timing and you're just like, damn it. You know, when is this going to actually happen? When is, when is my life going to actually change? It's changed. It's changing now. You don't see it, but it's changing now. This person, I'm hearing you're going to be rewarded. There's something about you being rewarded. Being rewarded with a new beginning with whoever this is. And this person 
It's like, okay, they said cut the deck. Yeah. The for, maybe you let this person go, or maybe you, you, you're not closing your heart off anymore. You're kind of like, you know what? I'm just going to let everything go and not worry about anything again. That's when things start to happen. When you let go and you let God. Two of Pentacles. Balance is coming in. When you let go and you let God, when you focus on yourself and you focus on what makes you happy and you focus on your passion, you focus on your goals and focus on you, put that love into you. Magic. Thank you, spirit. Magic happens. Magic happens. Show me more. Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck again. Balance is coming in. I knew there was a reason why they told me to wear these pants. So I have these pants on right now that have ships on them. Okay. They have ships on them. And they told me, look at the ships. They told me, look at the ships in the background. So there's something about balance coming in. There's something about juggling a lot. Maybe this person had a lot of responsibilities and a lot of juggling they were doing. They could have been juggling you with somebody else. I don't want to get into that energy. I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like this person is really trying really hard to get balance in their life. But I feel like there's a lot of rockiness in the background, but it's about to be balanced. There's something here. Maybe travel. Because they had me wear ships today. They had me wear my pants because I was asking them what I what I should wear. And they said these pants. I would never, like, I haven't worn these pants at all. So they had me wear those today. There's something here. Your money is about to change, too. I feel like that's what this person's trying to do. That's why they want to be financially stable when they come in. With these three cards being here, there's something about travel. They keep bringing that up. This person could be traveling a distance to you. This person and you could be meeting up to go on a trip. There's something here about travel because they keep showing me the ships. The death card, the moon, and the four of cups came out. When you have the moon and the high priestess in a reading, that usually means that spirit's going to surprise you. They don't want you knowing everything because this is hidden. This is hidden. There's a reason why this is hidden. This person could be going through an ego death right now, or you had to go through an ego death. But I feel like this is this person. They're going through a major change, a major transformation in their life. Okay. And there's something about they need to change. They, they, maybe they're afraid of change. But this person knows they have to change something in their life in order for them to be with you. This person could have just gotten out of a divorce or is separated or you guys were separated for something. There's something about like, even though there's a closing of a chapter, there's something about a closing of a chapter. Even though the chapter is being closed, it doesn't mean that it's that it doesn't mean it's over. I know this is the death card, but there's something here about your life isn't over and their life isn't over. They are going through a major, major transformation right now. They could be going through a lot of karma. I'm just going to call it like it is. They could be going through a lot of karma. The bottom line is you have the moon next to the death and next to the four of cups. This person, reading it the way I'm reading it. Oh, I got a fuzzy on me. This person never really shared with you how they truly felt about you. They've been hiding something. This person could have um, hidden motives, hidden agendas, hidden feelings. They never really told you about my, my phone just lit up. And they feel like they're... What if they miss an opportunity with you? They don't want to miss this opportunity with you. Because I feel like if they're hiding their feelings, maybe I'm hearing the gig is up. The gig is up. There's something about maybe this person having some sort of hidden agenda with you. And it could be the case. It could be the case. Maybe this person sees that you're financially stable and financially secure and going, you know, and your finances are in order and you're getting money, you're getting your abundance because this is abundance. This is abundance. You're getting an abundance of wealth. You're getting an abundance and wealth doesn't just mean money. It could mean money, but it's wealth in all things. Because when we believe that we are wealthy and we're, we're rich, you know, when we believe it, truly, truly believe it, we are. And that could be in everything. 
I got got an amazing family. I'm rich with that. I'm wealthy with that. That's how I see it. But I'm saying there's a new path coming. This person's going through an ego death. They're hiding something. There's something about them hiding something. Not everything is as it seems. This is illusions. This is something happening in the darkness. There's something here. Maybe this person is going through a dark night of the soul. And they feel like they're missing their opportunity with you. There's something here about. There's a new opportunity that's going to be coming in to you. Possibly with this person or somebody else. But there's something here about things being hidden. You're not supposed to know everything. And apparently neither am I. <laughs> but you're going to be offered an opportunity. Possibly with this person or with this soulmate coming in. And you're not even looking at it. It's like there's something there that's like right in front of your face or right in front of their face. And they're realizing it now. It's like something was shown to them. I keep hearing that. Something was shown to them. All right, Spirit. Is there anything else we need to know about this person and how they feel about the collective? I figured. That's why I was like, all right. They're, they could be dealing with addictions. I knew the Empress card was going to come out because that's the deck they told me to grab. There's a reason why they told me to grab this deck. Huh. This person. Okay. Okay, spirit. Thank you. Okay. Now this makes perfect, perfect um, sense. <laughs> this person could be going through healing. This person could be going through healing. There's something here with the devil energy. This person could be obsessed with you, thinks about you all the time, feels a little protective and a little possessive over you. This person could be going through a lot of addictions. You know, maybe they have like a drug problem or an alcohol problem. Maybe they were getting help. They're like I said, they're going through something that you're not supposed to see. And they're hoping they don't miss their chance with you because this is what they want to offer you is that ace of pentacles and it's going to happen fast. You're expecting everything just to kind of keep going the way it's going. Wow, the feather just literally flew on top of my luck card. So there's something here. It's like the divine is protecting you right now. Or this person is keeping you protected from them because they're dealing with a lot. There's a lot of toxicity possibly around this person right now. Maybe this person... Like, really, like, can't get you out of their mind because the Nine of Swords is here. I just saw a camper that said cougar. Maybe this person sees you as a cougar. <laughs> Some of us can be cougars. I'm just saying. But anyway, I feel like this person is going through a lot of, they could have mental issues too. They could be bipolar. They could have, like, a heavy anxiety. They could be having, um, maybe they're sick. There's something here about this person with the devil energy. Or they could have somebody they're dealing with that's like a devil. And my phone just lit up when I said that. But there's something here. Maybe they're healing from something toxic. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm feeling. That they're healing from some sort of addiction. Something, you know, they want you. They feel bound to you. They want you bad. But it's like they're dealing with something right now. So they can't have you right now. But the thing is, with the star card here, you're their wish fulfillment. Spirit is telling you not to give up on your dreams, not to give up on your goals, not to give up on your wishes. If you really want this person or whoever this is, if whatever you're asking for, your dreams are about to come true. Stop obsessing over it. But there's a thing here about you being in proper alignment and this person needing to be in proper alignment. Again, the star is all about wish fulfillment. A wish is about to be granted. A wish is about to be granted. Whatever you've prayed for. What was I made for? I'm hearing um, Billie Eilish, What Was I Made For? And I don't know why I'm hearing that song. But there's something here about... All right, I now I got to look up. Now I got to look up the song. <laughs> and then I'll get back to the Empress card because the Empress came out. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> hmm. 
-hmm. Yeah, this person's going through something. This person's going through something. What was I made for by Billie Eilish? I'm going to, I'm going to literally, this person's healing. They're healing. They, they might be healing a broken heart and they might be healing from somebody that, from you. <laughs> maybe they're healing from you or maybe they, you're their wish. See how her hand is going towards the Empress? She's looking towards the Empress. You're their wish because they see you like this. You're incredible. You're amazing. You're beautiful. You're you're beautiful inside and out. You you you're attracting. Again, you're attracting. What was I made for by Billie Eilish? I used to float, now I just fall down. I used to know, but I'm not sure now. What I was made for. What was I made for? Taking a drive, I was an ideal. Looked so alive, turns out I'm not real. Just something you paid for. What was I made for? Cuz I I, I don't know how to feel, but I want to try. This person could be going through heavy depression, heavy depression. I just heard that because Billie Eilish, I think is a lot, is very depressed. But I want to try, but I don't know how to feel, but someday I might, someday I might. When did it end? All the enjoyment. I'm sad again. Don't tell my boyfriend. It's not what he's made for. What was I made for? Cause I, cause I, I don't know how to feel. Hi butterfly. But I want to try. I don't know how to feel, but someday I might, someday I might, I might think I forgot how to be happy. Something I'm not, but something I can be something I wait for something I'm made for something I'm made for. Oh my God. I just got chills up my body. Okay. So bottom line, this person just wants to be happy. This person just wants to be happy. This person is in depression. They're going through something right now. Or this could be you. Take it how it resonates. Okay? And God is telling you. Your spirit team is telling you. If this is you and you're going through healing and you're trying to heal whatever is going on in your life, stop obsessing over things. Stop trying to control things and just let it be. Be that empress. Be in that empress energy. I don't care if you're male or female or non-binary. It doesn't really matter to me. Bottom line is, and I know that sounds harsh. I'm not, I'm not harsh. I'm just saying, this is that attraction. When you focus on you and the divine feminine energy is, don't be like, go, 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 action, action, action. Receive. Sit back, receive. God is telling you, if you're feeling like things are not going right in your life, sit back, be present. Be still. That's what I was told yesterday. I was like, I want to do my video. I went, they're like, no, you're going to rest. You need to rest up. Be still. Be present. And while I was present yesterday and I was just kind of like, you know, doing stuff on my phone and stuff like that. And I was just so present. Everything started coming to me. All these downloads, all this information from my spirit team was like, doo -doo -doo -doo. and I was like, oh, 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 it was great. But I had to be still and rest up yesterday because there was a lot going on. When you, when you stop your mind and you stop focusing so much on the problem, and I know because I'm going through this too, if you just say, you know what, what's the solution? Okay, here's the solution. I'm not going to try to push so hard. I'm not going to try to control anything. I'm going to let go and let God. I'm going to surrender to the universe and release whatever it is I need to release. Let go. And say, I accept where I am today. I accept whatever situation is going on in my life. And I accept everything for what it is. I trust you. I trust you. Boom. Shit starts happening. You're in this attraction mode. Stay attractive. Stay, and I don't mean stay attractive as in, you know, you got to like be all physically attractive and everything. This person already sees you like this anyways. And you already are a badass bitch, a boss bitch. So just keep on doing it. Whoever you are. Or a boss man, whatever. But the thing is, when you're in that divine feminine energy, it's okay for you to receive. Allow yourself to receive whatever this is. Allow yourself to receive whatever wishes are coming in. Whatever goals are coming in. Whatever you wished for is coming. 
What was I made for? Maybe you were made for this person. Maybe your person was made for you. Maybe that's what you guys are supposed to be doing. And this person is going to put in the work. I, I knew it. I knew it. Past life soulmate. Past life soulmate. This, this is somebody possibly from your past. This person may bring you flowers. They may, thinking about, they may be thinking about getting you flowers. But this person wants to build with you. There's something about them wanting to build and work on this. They've been putting a lot of work into themselves. They've been putting a lot of, maybe they're working a lot. This person could be a workaholic, but there's something about them working on their craft so that they can bring you what it is that you deserve because you are the empress, because you are somebody that they see as, you know, somebody they can't see themselves with anybody else with. And again, you're attracting, you're wishing, you're praying, you're putting it out there to the universe. And you're loving yourself and you're loving what you do and you're putting everything into you, focusing on yourself. And that's bringing in whatever it is. Like, you know, we attract what we are, right? So if you're of a high vibration, you're going to attract a high vibrational person right to you. If you're of a low vibration, you're going to keep on attracting the low vibrational people. That's why it's so important that if you want to manifest and you want to get in this mode, you have got to be high vibe. And I say that me and Carla talk about that all the time because she's always on my ass about that because there's times when I'm like, I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could do this. And she's just like, you need to stay there. You need to stay there because I'm, I'm a manifester. I can manifest like that. And I know I can, but these negative thoughts sometimes get in the way and I'm like, no, I'm done with that shit. I don't give a fuck. If anybody doesn't want to be with me, then don't be with me. You want to be in my life? Make a fucking point to be in my life. You don't want to be in my life? Then don't be in my life. That's kind of my attitude right now. Um, and this is the truth. And I don't care if I'm not supposed to swear on YouTube. It is what it is. I'm, I don't care about the monetization. I don't care. They haven't been paying me anything anyways, and that's not what this is about. So it doesn't even matter. But the bottom line is, you know, when you stand in your power and you speak your truth and you have pure intention and you're, you do good and you be good and you treat people with respect and you treat people how you want to be treated, the universe sees that. God sees that. God sees everything. So if somebody was doing some shady shit to you, God saw that and was like, nah, <laughs> you can't be with this person until you go through this death. Until you go through this shit. And then once they go through that shit, if they're, if they're better, God will bring them to you again. If that's what they choose. They also have free will. They could choose to not go through this ego death. They could choose not to do anything about it. The cards say they're going through, an, they're going through a major transformation that you're not being able to see because it's behind the scenes, right? Not everything is as it seems. But this person truly wishes for you. And they are somebody that feels familiar, that knows you, that you've had lives with. And that's why it's so damn strong. That's why this devil energy with the bound feeling is coming out. And this person's been working and working and working because this is what they want to give you. You might meet this person at work. You might work with somebody from your past that could be a friend. This may be something, like I said before, this may be somebody new. I don't know. I'm just pulling the energy. But this is usually a past person. A past person is going to put in the work. This isn't going to be somebody that's going to be a player or a fuck boy, a fuck girl. This isn't going to be somebody like that. If they were like that in the past, they're not going to be like that. If that's, you know, if you're, you're wishing and praying for a past person, they're not going to come in like that because God won't let them. You're heavily protected. You're heavily protected by your spirit team. I'm telling you right now, this person has a lot of responsibilities and a lot of burdens on them, but they're coming back around. They're coming back around. Let me see what this person has to say to you. I want to, whoever this is, hang on a second. I wasn't going to do this, but I guess I'm doing it. It's my first video in over 20 some days, so let's go with it. 
Let's go with it. What is this person going to say to the collective? This person that's on their mind? What does this person want to tell the collective? Please, Spirit. This person that's on their mind. What does this person want to say to the collective? I'll pray for someone like you. And I thank God that I, that I finally found you. Oh, my life. Sorry, it keeps going in my head. They're hoping you feel the same way they do. They're hoping that you didn't move on. This person, I keep hearing that. This person is hoping that you didn't move on. If this is a past person that you that you wanted for so long that possibly left you battered and bruised and broken and damaged. If this person did that to you or lied to you or whatever, did betrayed you, this person is hoping you see them the same way they see you. They're hoping that you haven't moved on with somebody else. That is your choice. You do what you want. I am just a messenger. What does this person want to say to the collective? What does this person want to say to the collective, please, Spirit? I know I was a distraction from your pain. Maybe you and this person got together, you know, and you had some wounds that you had to heal, and they felt like they were a distraction from, like, you know, you healing. I'm so attracted to you. Empress, you're a goddess. What was this person? Oh, that wasn't right. I want to see what it says. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. What does this person want to say to the collective, please? My life is not as together as it seems. And it flew on top of, I'm going to show you guys. It flew on top just like this. Whoop. <laughs> On top of the death, the moon, and the four of cups. My life is not as together as it seems. That's what's hidden. This person acts like they got it all together, but in reality, they really don't. And maybe they don't want you to see the real them. And they're worried that if you see the real them, you're going to reject them. Show me. Show me. I am becoming a better person. Holy shit. What I say to you guys? This person is working on themselves. They have to. They have to work on themselves. They're going through a major healing in their life. This person is becoming a better person because of the simple fact that you are who you are. You are this empress. You are this wish fulfillment. They cannot stop. Thank you, spirit, because my phone just went off. They can't stop thinking about you. Memories cloud them. Memories follow me day and night. I think that's what I say. I can see you of my mind. If you were intimate with this person, they think about that a lot too. Because I'm, I'm hearing left and right by Charlie Puth. Oh my God. Did you guys see? Did you guys see that card fly on top of luck? Finding out the truth crushed me. I feel like this person has been in denial for a while about your, about your connection. I feel like this person found out something about you and maybe somebody lied on you or something. Cause remember I told you guys, I had that dream this morning about everybody was against me and I'm like, that's okay. You guys keep, keep doing what you're doing. I'm going I'm to keep being pure. Like I don't want to deal with that shit. I don't want drama. Finding out the truth crushed me. I feel like this person just found out something. This could be about you or it could be about something in their life. And I put it on top of the world and it, it could be them completing a cycle, a karmic cycle. And now they want to, they want to rush in. Finding out the truth crushed me. This person found out something. Maybe they found out that you were real. Maybe this person was thinking like, you know, why do you love me? Why do you want to be with me? What is this? They did it and they had it in their head. They had it in their head. That maybe you weren't real. You were too good to be true or they're just not enough for you or whatever. And they realize that you are the only one it, that, that matters. The only one that they feel 
Oh. Um, the only one that they feel that gets them. And it's like, now they're like, fuck. Show me more. What else does this person want to say to the collective? Wow. We both know I am not the one for you. Maybe that's what this person was thinking. Finding out the truth crushed me. I feel like this person was telling them, telling themselves that you're not the one for them. I told you, denying the connection. There was something about your connection they kept denying. And they were like, you know what? This person is going to play me. This person is going to betray me like everybody else did. This person is going to do this. No, you weren't like that. You weren't like that. You were completely 100% authentic with them. And all you wanted to do was love them. That's all you wanted to fucking do was love them. That's it. And you accepted them for who they are. And you accepted them for everything. You saw them, you got them. And I feel like now this person's kicking themselves in the ass because he, he or she doesn't feel like they're, they're the one for you. Now they're feeling like maybe you'll do better off without me. I look for you everywhere. Some people, some people really have that shit in their head childhood wounds that they need to heal when they think that, you know, they're not the one for you. You know, maybe that person's better off without me. Maybe that person could find somebody better. You just love them. You just love them. Wow. What did I talk about? All my life came up and it talked about praying. There was a notification that just came up about somebody, you know, praying for another chance. I'm telling you, this person's been praying for you. Show me more. I left you before you could leave me. Boom. There it is. Self-preservation. This person left you because they thought that you were going to betray them like everybody else did. That might be another truth that they found out. You were never going to hurt them. You were never going to sit there and, and you would never betray them because you've had so much done to you. You would never do that to them. They have abandonment issues and they need to, they need to take care of it. They need to heal that. They have rejection issues. They need to heal that. Just being near you is intoxicating. I'm telling you, this person, that devil energy is there. I can't stop thinking about you right here. This person can't get enough of you. I can't get enough of you, baby. <laughs> is that from Shrek? Da -da 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 -da. No, it's um, Smash Mouth. He just passed away, too. Hmm. Tell me more. Show me one. Show me two more. Show me two more. What other things does your person want to say to you? Show me two more. Two more, please, Spirit. Thank you. I will wait for a sign from you. Some of you have already reached out to your person and not got no response. Some of you have already tried to, like, have the olive branch, the it's okay to talk to me kind of thing, and they never responded. And that's why some of you are just like, you know what? I just wash my hands with it. It's done. But I don't feel like, I feel like there's, again, there's something going on with this person that you're not seeing. I regret lying to you. And I know that I crossed the line with you. Absolutely. If this person lied to you, knowing that you are so intuitive and knowing that you know damn well that this person what they did to you was because they were worried that you were going to leave them because you would break them. Because this person, I'm hearing their head over heels for you. Head over heels. This person really loves you. There's no ace of cups here. It's mostly pentacles, to be honest. It's a cup, knight of cups. Pentacle, pentacle, pentacle. But this person sees you as their family. But then you have the wish card. They're hoping that you'll give them a chance because you're the empress. And if this is not a past person, now again, if you guys don't want the past person, whatever's coming in, 
Don't try to sabotage it. But this person right here, they, if they lied to you, if they didn't tell you the whole truth about something or they kept secrets from you, and they know they crossed the line with you, they're worried that you're going to reject them. All right, enough about that. Because you are their lucky charm. You are that person that they feel complete with, that they're vulnerable with. You and this person had an intimacy or could have had, if you guys were together like that, could have had an intimacy where they told you stuff or you told them stuff that you both would never tell anybody. This person feels comfortable with you. All right, Michael, what do you got? What messages do you got, Archangel Michael? Okay, that was weird. I don't know why I did that. I don't know what that is. What messages do you got for the collective, please? What messages do you have for the collective, please, Archangel Michael? What messages do you have for the collective, please? Messages to the collective, please. I was hoping it wouldn't be a love reading, but I just kept hearing that song all my life. I'm like, oh. What messages do you have for the collective, please? Embrace your life purpose. Thank this person for whatever they did or everybody that betrayed you and that you had to get stronger. Because let me tell you something. It puts you to where you are today. And you might be going through a dark night of the soul yourself, but know that that's part of it. Because whatever is coming, it's going to bless you. I'm telling you, you're going to have blessings. Embrace your life purpose. I am guiding you toward your divine life purpose. Didn't I say in the beginning, I feel like this person in you, I feel like something about your purpose with this person or this person is your purpose or part of your purpose. I did. Whatever makes your heart joyful is what you're meant to be doing. Oh my God. Some of you are running away from this. I'm going to tell you right now. I just heard that. Some of you are running away from this, whatever this is. Some of you know deep within your heart that you know this person and you are meant to be together, even though the Wheel of Fortune isn't here and even though there's not a lot of cups. This person, you complete them. Like, you you are the missing piece. What messages do you have for us, Archangel Michael? For the collective, thank you. Let it go. What I talk about, let it go. This is why I said, I was like asking spirits, and I was like, do I pull the oracles first? And they're like, no, just do, just do it regular. Let it go, number 18. Number 12 and 18 might mean something to you. Maybe those are dates. 12 could be December, 12 months, 18 months. This situation no longer serves you. Allow me to sever your energetic connections to the past so you can embrace the future. Whatever you're putting yourself through about this person, whatever you're going through, blue butterflies mean something too, because blue butterflies, you, some of you might have a white cat or a cat. Others might be coming up. There's something about you letting things go about whatever this is. The situation no longer serves you. So what spirit is trying to tell you is let go of whatever no longer serves you. Today's the new moon, right? I think it's the new moon today. So you want to pull in the stuff that you want to bring in. All right, let that shit go. Whatever it is that you need to let go, whatever situation that you've been in, some of you might be in a situation ship. And if you don't feel that it's right, then get out of it. Then, you, you know, easier said than done, I get it. But a lot of healing goes into what we do, okay? This person may not want to heal, may not want to go through this change and this transformation. And that's why spirit's like, eh. Bottom line is your guides, your ancestors, they're helping you to let go of the past so that this way you can embrace your future. Because I feel like whatever happened in the past with this person, I think you guys need to let it go. And it's easier said than done. I know that. But you got to forgive this person and thank them and move forward. Because you got to let whatever it is that they did to you go. Because if, it, if you keep holding on to that, 
If you keep holding on to that, they're still gonna think that they're distracting you from your pain. One more, two more. Okay, you want all those? Which one? Take this one. Don't settle for less. You are a child of the divine and you deserve to have your dreams come true. Don't give up, exactly. Let go whatever needs to let be let go of. AM, those might be initials for your person as well. I'm seeing the AM, I'm being drawn to that. Wow, wow, oh my God, okay. I'm gonna, let, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna leave this because I know it's over an hour, but I wanted to make sure I get on and do a reading uh, because I do have, or do a video because I have a reading at four. Personal readings are coming back. I am, I am all set for that. Number 40, you're ready for more. Don't settle for less because you're ready for more. See, embrace your life purpose because when you embrace your life purpose and let things go, you're not settling for anything. You're just gonna keep on going after your dreams. You're attracting whatever is coming to you is coming to you. Your career is growing and blossoming. Now is the time to make the changes you have been contemplating. Exactly. Exactly. You're ready for more. Your divine life purpose. Yes. Yes. Purple and pink might mean something to you because I did wear pink today. <laughs> Prioritize self-care. It's all about you. It's all about you. Number 24. Some of you might be 40. Because I'm seeing the numbers 12, 18, 10, and 40, 24. Some of you might be 24. I don't usually have anybody that's in that age range that watches my videos. That's okay. Not mine. You do so much for others. It's time for you to experience the love you deserve and let others help you. I told you, we're here in this Empress energy. Whatever you've been doing, you know, sending out love to other people and helping other people and whatever, you, you put that love into yourself and, you know, just being that pure, good, kind, generous person, that's all coming back to you. You don't do it because you're expecting something in return. You do it because you want to. You do it because it's the right thing to do. This is a blessing in disguise. Be patient and have faith. You could be 33. Be patient, have faith that your angels have this situation under control. That's why they're telling you to let it go because they have it. What will come is far better than you have dreamed of, or I'm sorry, than you dared to dream. I'm telling you, let go of that past pain that this person puts you through. Let go of whatever past shit that you went through in your life with relationships romantic relationships, family relationships, friendships, whatever. Heal what you got to heal. Because once you do that, this can come in. It's going to be better. Whatever, whatever happened between you and this person in the past, this needed to happen. It was a blessing in disguise so that this way it could be better. It's time to play. Number 17. You could have a 17-year-old child. You're working too hard and worrying about everything. Seek out joyous experiences to bring balance into your life. Some of you might have a dog, Kali, Shepherd, I'm hearing Shepherd. But the bottom line is go out and have fun. Bring joy into your life and stop worrying so much about everything. Don't work too hard because you want to be in this empress mode. I'm telling you. When you sit back and be still, that's when everything starts. I'm telling you, it's great. Number 13, get your power back. You have forgotten who you are. You are a child of the divine, so take back your power. Absolutely. Focus on you. This is talking about also this self-care. When you get your power back and you stay in this mode, you want to talk about attracting a lot of people? You're going to be attracting a lot of people, but you got to pull your energy back. You got to pull your power back from people that you gave it to. The only way other people can have your power is if you give it to them. You deserve your own power. You deserve your own energy. Pull it back. Take back your power. Stand in your truth. Be who the fuck you are. Don't settle for less. 
don't sit there and let anybody take advantage of you or walk all over you or whatever. Somebody's going to lie to you. Eh, bye. Don't do it. Like, I don't, I was telling Carla this the other day. I think it was yesterday. And so I'm at this point in my life where I'm like, you know what? Like, you're going to try and like be like manipulative and everything to me. You're out of your fucking mind. Like, I'm not that type of person. I'm not that. I'm not the one. Like, you didn't know. I am not the one. So I don't know if it was those words, but it was something like that. It was like, I'm not. I'm, I'm leveling up. I'm elevating. And whoever, that's what I said to her. Whoever is going to be on my train is going to get on the train with me. And whoever, you know, whoever forgot their ticket can sit back at the train station because I'm, I'm heading forward. Because I have to. Like, my dad would want me to move forward. I'm so glad this turned out great, Daddy. I'm so glad. But my dad would want me to move forward. My dad would want me to... And I'm not talking about romantic relationship or anything. I'm talking about move forward in my purpose. Move forward in why I'm here. Find my passion. Go after what it is that I want. He wouldn't want me to sit and sulk. My dad was so... He was so humorous and so happy. You know, he, he was kind of negative. I'll be honest with you. He was kind of negative, but he was excluded from a lot of things. And he he was abandoned. There was a lot of stuff that went on in his life. So I kind of, like, understand my dad. And my, like I said, my dad is with me all the time now because I'm a medium. I can feel him all the time. But, like, he's been, he's been helping me out on the other side. Blessing in disguise, right? So the reason why I'm bringing up my father is because my father would want us to be happy and be in joy. His last time being coherent with us was, he said it was the happiest day because everybody was there. All his grandchildren, his kids were there, his sister, my, my, my aunt, my mom, we were all there and we were laughing and joking and having fun. That's what my dad would want. So what I'm saying is, remember who you are. Don't settle for less. Don't dim your light for anyone. Because if you're going to dim your light and you're going to hold yourself back because somebody can't see your worth, I'm not saying this person. I'm talking about other people. Because I, I told Carla I want to start doing more empowerment videos because I'm like, I'm at this point. If somebody can't see your value for who you are and they can't get you or understand you, you're not meant to be around them. And I'm going to tell you straight up because that happens with a lot of family members, right? Right? You could be sitting there next to somebody and all of a sudden you're sharing with who you are and then that person's kind of like, uh, and they dismiss you and they go talk to somebody else. And then you get all down on yourself and you're like, what the fuck am I getting down on myself? <sighs> like I got called bougie the other day and I told my daughter, I was like, you know what? I was like, I told my sister, I was like, I am not bougie. She's like, you are so bougie. You had to sit there and order something else. Or order like, all I did was ask for a different kind of sauce on my ice cream. That's all. I said, I don't know what the upcharge is. He's like, don't worry about it. I'm not going to tell anybody. Here, I'll just put some on. Thank you. So I just asked, you're bougie. So I said to my daughter, you want to see bougie? You want to see queen? Guess what? Thank you. Thank you for telling me I'm bougie. Because guess what? Now my ass is even more of a fucking empress. And I'm going to keep on fucking manifesting. And I'm going to keep on being who I am. Because you know what? I don't give a fuck. I'm authentic. As much, I had to keep my mouth shut a little bit because it wasn't the right place for the right time. We were at the funeral brunch. But I'm not dealing with that shit anymore. I'm not going to let somebody belittle me. I've dealt with that my whole life. And that's why I'm saying. That is exactly, I know I'm bringing up a little bit about me. But the reason why I'm talking about that is because you take your power back. The only way they can have your power is if you give it to them. You react to them. When they're belittling you or bullying you or taking advantage of you or you're people pleasing just to satisfy them, ain't happening. I'm not going to satisfy somebody else and I'm not going to sit there and dim my light because somebody else doesn't like me. Go fuck yourself. You don't have to like me. Never asked you to. Family, friends, doesn't matter. That's why I keep my circle small. And that's why my plans that I have, ain't nobody going to know. So I'm just going to say now my daddy helped me. Thank you, daddy. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. With that being said. 
Focus on yourself and shit will happen. I'm telling you. You just, you got to let it go. Let go, whatever. Let go and let God. An hour and 15 minutes in. Sorry. You could be seeing 555. If you're seeing 555 transformation or 1111 or 111, you're on the right path. Okay. For anybody here that has seen me this far, thank you so much for being here. Like the video on your way out. If you haven't liked the video already, subscribe to my channel. If you like my energy and you like the way I read, I read differently. I try, I try to read different. Um, those of you who are subscribed, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all the donations. If anybody sent me donations, please, please, please look in the description box. Everything is there on how to like spell out my name. There are impersonators out there impersonating me. I will never come to you and ask you for a reading. You've got to email me. Personal readings are back on. I'm doing one today that they, they paid a month ago, so I have to get back to him. And then I got to get back to the other woman. And I feel really bad, but, you know, deaths in the family. You got to take care of your family. But if anybody wants a personal reading, everything's in the description box as well. Just email me. I won't come to you begging you and say, oh, my God, because that happened on in my Instagram. Thank you to my friends. They told me These pe this person's impersonating you, has your name, and is asking for people to pay $34 for a freaking reading from you. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, play the game a little bit and then let them know that I know. So I reached out to that person and I let them know. Yeah, you don't mess with me. Anyway, so, so if you want a personal reading, I'm doing personal readings again. Okay, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. This felt so good to be back. It felt so good to be back. All right. You guys have yourself a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.